we're going from one hackathon to the other because uh, next on stage is uh, Jacques van Ginderdeuren. He's head of advanced analytics at Euroclear and Euroclear is also organizing a hackathon at the Data Innovation Hub. It's a hackathon about text mining and uh, the hope of Euroclear is that the outcome of the hackathon will bring the capabilities of text mining at Euroclear to the next level. Thank you, Neil. Uh, good morning, everyone, and uh, congratulations to all the winners. I hope um, our hackathon would be as successful as the one of uh, Procter & Gamble. Indeed, we engaged into this uh, text mining hackathon. Uh, before, let me give you some uh, background about uh, Euroclear. So what we do, we're in the financial sector. We do po um, uh, post-trade, uh, that's a clearing and settlement. So basically, we support the back offices of our clients into uh, executing uh, the instructions. So basically, how it, does it work? We have the buyers, the sellers, they send us their instructions. We match them, and on the settlement date, we just execute the transactions so that the cash is exchanged against the securities. And in that way, we guarantee delivery versus payment. A few figures. Um, the annual tur turnover is um, 572 trillions. So that's 572 and 12 zeros afterwards. So that's the value that changes hands uh, on a yearly basis. We're sitting on 33 trillion uh, of assets and we handle more than 1 million uh, securities. The main services that we offer are asset servicing, again around securities, paying coupon and redemptions, uh, credit services, we give credit against collateral, which are securities, and also um, um, collateral services. So we, we manage uh, the, the assets of our client. For that, securities reference data are key. Uh, we invest a lot of energy into um, maintaining our securities database, and we do that using prospectuses. So the prospectus is this sort of document where everything that relates to the security is described, who the issuer is, uh, what are the coupons, uh, if it bears an interest, and, and the like. Okay? Um, and we receive those documents uh, by email, so we store them, uh, and so we have quite a lot of, of people uh, managing that on a daily basis. And so when we Neither the document later on, we just put it out of the database and um, um, interpret it and input in the security database. Now the hackathon is about uh, using text mining techniques to extract some data elements from um, those documents. And obviously we want to automate data quality uh, checks and manual input if possible. And as you will see, the challenge there is to um, face the, the variety of formats. Okay, so we chose some data elements for the, for the hackathon, like the issuer name, the guarantor name, minimum and multiple tradable amounts, zero coupon flags. So these are all technicals, sorry for that. Uh, just to give you some, some flavor on the issuer side, um, when you look at the document, it's well, pretty standard. Uh, it can be in the middle of the first page in bold, so quite easy to extract. But it can, it can also appear somewhere hidden in a text, like the, 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 the example at the bottom. Guarantor, pretty much the same thing. Um, it can appear on the front page. Uh, but also it can have many guarantors. Uh, or it can be hidden somewhere in the paragraph. Same story as the, as the, as the issuer. Then required open city. So these are the, the marketplaces that have to be open in order to make a payment. So some of them are quite easy to extract. Other are more complex and again appear somewhere hidden uh, in, in a paragraph in the prospectus. The prospect prospectus can be some up to 200 pages long, by the way. Another one is a zero coupon flag. Again, um, easy examples, but also more complex one when you need to interpret the text like in the uh, last example here. In terms of preparation of the hackathon, we will uh, submit something like 7,000 documents um, to uh, the participants so that they can practice, and we will supply the labels. Okay, and we will also have uh, preparation sessions where uh, the participant can ask questions to the business experts and also um, to our data scientists who have already gone through this exercise. Another weekend itself, which is uh, going to happen on the 17th and 18th of, of June, um, we will use another uh, data set, obviously, uh, and we will work with intermediary validations. And, and uh, there will be a reward, of course, uh, for the most efficient model, so this is pure performance, and for the most creative uh, model as well. And then we also want to extend it to documents that um, were not supplied uh, in the test. I know that was a bit fast, sorry for that. 